Hi, today I want to review Levelens 2012 Witches Spell a Day Almanac. Here's what the book looks like. This is uh, an almanac, almanac type book that Levelen publishes each year together with a whole bunch of others along the line of yearly guides, sabbat guides, herbal guides, astrological, astrological guides. There are quite a bit of them. This one, however, is my favorite and one that I usually buy each year. So, uh, what is this book? Well, the title pretty much says it all. This um, is um, basically an um, almanac with... Uh, for each day in the year, you have some information on um, that particular day. Uh, magical correspondences, what sort of incense is best to use that day, and so on. And you have a spell. Let me give you an example. Let us see, let's take June 18. So, here you have color of the day, silver, incense of the day, kari sage. And then you have a spell. Yeah, and you also have, uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, the astrological symbols and yeah, a few other correspondences. And also on days with particular lore uh, associated with it, you will have a bit of that lore as well. Now what I think is very useful with this book is that the spells for the most part, are very simple. They are very straightforward, they take from a few seconds to a few minutes to do. And I think a book like this is a very good way to get going practicing. There are a lot more occultists than there are practicing occultists. And a book like this makes it very easy to start a daily practice. It can even be useful for families in that you um, have a particular point around the day when the family gather around, the lore of the day is read up and you do the spell together. I also very much enjoy books that bring magic out of the sacred spaces and into real life. Now, don't get me wrong, it is great to do a long, complicated ritual, spend hours preparing, and really putting a lot of effort into it. However, most cannot, don't have the time to do that every day, and life as a pagan is not just about celebrating the sabbats and the espats. It is about bringing magic into everyday life. And this book is very much about practical magic. A lot of the spells are for practical everyday things. Another very useful thing about this book is that if you follow it, if you do these spells every day, then you get very connected with the flow of the air. There are spells associated with winter, with summer, but also the energies of every day. It can be a very good guide to learn how to get to know the correspondences of various days around the year, but also feeling the particular energies of a given day, which can be very useful. Now, of course, some would say that books like this and the other level and almanacs is just a ploy to make money and to a certain degree it is this book does feel cheap the pictures let me see if I can find one yeah you see there's a picture 
and they are printed very poorly for the most part and feeling the book too it feels cheap and if that sound comes through it's because of a helicopter going over the house we have um, oil platforms not too far from where we live and um, when it um, on um, Tuesday and Friday they bring workers to and fro the platforms in shifts which means we'll have that sound running again and again and again and again but I'm getting away from the topic yeah the book feels cheap and I have a few of the other so from last year of uh, the Lavellen Almanacs and I have the same thing these, these are produced on the cheap to earn Lavellen an extra buck and also they don't have a dedicated author to write this they just taken spells from all over the place and put in here but yeah I don't really have a problem with Lavellen wanting to earn money they're a company and they're a company that have brought me a lot of joy with their books so I don't have a problem with it a problem I however do have with this book is that some of the spells assume that you have an extremely well stocked herb cabinet now like I said most of these spells are very simple easy to do anyone can do them uh, they can be useful for both um, an experience pagan but also a complete beginner this book however have a few spells that requires a lot of herbs let me see if I can find an example blah blah blah, blah about the waters uh, yep, 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 yep. yes here we go January 1st Yes, after some um, correspondence information, we have the spell. Welcome to the new year. <clears throat> Today is a traditional day of new beginnings. Focus on a specific resolution, if you like, or simply send out a request for happy and prosperous new year. Wrap equal amounts of the following dried herbs in a white cloth. Lavender, rose petals, rosemary, thyme and basil. Tie the bundle and chant. Yeah, I don't need to have the entire chant in here, but yeah, you get it. Now, none of these herbs are rare, but unless you do a lot of cooking or you do a lot of herb magic, you probably won't have huge amounts of dried rose petals and such lying about and drying some roses for it does take some time so yeah and, and it's this isn't the worst one so um, I think that a book like this should have spells that are easy and accessible also to don't, those that don't necessarily practice herb magic it there should be spells requiring a minimum of tools and where tools are required it should be tools that everyone has so like one thing is rosemary uh, most have some rosemary in their kitchen but dried rose petals no so yeah other than that complaint I think this is an excellent book I like most of the spells in it I am very happy with it and I'm probably going to buy uh, the Witch's Spell of the Almanac for the next year. I have one more of the Almanacs on order and I will try to do a review of that when I've gotten to read it. So yeah, I really recommend this book both as a novelty item but also as a way to get into practice. I'm probably going to try to do this, um, follow this and do these spells once a day through the air and um, yeah and like I said this if you find one of the spell of the almanacs from the earlier years most of the spells here is um, 
works just as well on other years and other days. And I'm probably going to copy a few of these into my Book of Shadows. So it's a good purchase as um, almanacs go because they are not only useful in 2012, but always. This isn't a perfect book, but it is a very good book. And I really recommend it for those that want something about practical magic and want to find a way to simply get into practicing instead of just reading about it. And that's my review of Levelens 2012 Witches Spell a Day Almanac. Oh, and I probably should mention uh, price. I gave around 10 bucks for it. It's not that expensive. And the page count is 264. So yeah, have a blessed day.